Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Little Flow Self Test Kit at home. So I've been given this Innova SARS COVID-2 antigen test kit from work. So today I'm going to show you the content of this box and then we move on to the preparation stage. Then I'll, I'll show you how to take the specimen and also how to perform the test. And finally, I'm going to show you how to report your test result. Let's start. Inside the box, you will find the disposable sampling swab and these extraction tubes with caps, the antigen test kit, the extraction solution, and also the user manual. Just before the preparation, I'm going to clean the surface first. Now I am prepared for my test. In order to conduct the test, I have one antigen test kit, one sampling swab, one extraction tube, and one pot that can hold the extraction tube upright, extraction solution, and a dummy bin. You can use your kitchen bin at home. In the preparation stage, I'm not going to open this antigen test cartridge. I will open that just before performing the test. Before opening the swab, I'm just going to put some extraction liquid on this extraction tube. So we need to put six drops of extraction liquid into the tube. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the extraction solution is ready to perform a test. Just before conducting the test, I'm going to blow my nose to get rid of any excess mucus. Just before opening the swab, I'm going to thoroughly wash my hand. I'm going to open the sampling swab now, so it's clearly marked which side I need to open with and it all clearly says that we should avoid touching the cloth pad. So now I'm going to open the swab. And I'm ready to collect the sample. Make sure you push as far as possible before it start hurting you. So I'm going in a circular motion at least five times. But make sure you don't hurt yourself. Right now my eyes are watery, but they're absolutely normal. Now I'm going to put this swab inside the extraction liquid. When you remove the swab, just press this extraction tube and gently remove the swab. and place this swab back in the packaging so you can safely discard it in the bin. Before I perform the test, I'm making sure the test kit is within the date. So it is clearly marked as the 25th of November 2022. So it's, now I'm going to safely open that. The test kit should be used as soon as after opening, but please make sure do not throw the packaging yet because you need it to report your test result. Now I'm going to put a couple of drops sampling area that's clearly marked. 
please do not throw this extraction tube right away you probably need that again if in case if you get an invalid result now I'm going to wait 30 minutes to see the result before going back to the test result I'm going to familiarize myself with the indicators two lines parallel to C and T even the faint lines indicate the test is positive one line parallel to C indicates the test is negative. If there is no line or one line parallel to T, the test has failed and should be retaken. And you can see it's clearly showing one line on C. So that means it's a negative result. Now I'm going to report it through the portal. In order to report my test result, I have typed reporting COVID test result in Google and that gave me this gov link. After clicking that link, it gives me, it tells me to start now. Why did you take the test? So I'll say testing for staff delivering NHS services in England. Select the area where you work in. So you select your area where you work in and all the personalized question that applies to you and remember you need the lot number of your antigen you can throw this kit into your kitchen bin or black bin make sure you keep this pot for future use It's really important to test in every three to four days. So it's for your own safety, your family's safety, your co-worker's safety. The more tests means more quickly we can contain the virus and keep our workplaces safe. Thank you very much for watching.